This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. I've never heard him talk like that. You never heard him speak. <laughs> I didn't know you could talk like that. <laughs> this changes everything. Do it. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. You want me to go into a radio voice? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Do it. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Tees. Watch this. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I really haven't heard you talk like that before. Dude, when, you, when you edit almost an hour of you guys doing voices, you start to pick up a few of them. I do voices. That was good. Hey, everybody. Uh, you just heard that this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. But you're probably wondering, what is Sunday Cool? <laughs> Let me show you. Sunday Cool is a uh, screen printing company outside of Orlando, Florida. Right over here, we have our art department. Over here, we have our sales team. These teams right here work around the clock to make sure your order, whether it's shirts, stickers, hats, whatever it is, they're making sure it's perfect. But I bet you want to see where the t-shirts, your t-shirts are printed. Come on. This is it right here. Follow me. Let me go. Hi, Taylor. We print a ton of shirts. We offer 72-hour turnaround, water-based ink, super soft, sun reveal ink, water reveal. We got it all. Sundaycool.com, numbers below. Get your shirts today. Ah. All right, looks good, guys. Let's get back to work, all right? Okay. Get back to work, guys. Death is right around the corner. Stop. I know. Okay. <laughs> Just go real dark. I am so aware of my mortality right now. It's insane. I'm so aware of my hands. What did we watch? That my you heart. thought that? Uh, Meet Joe Black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the Brad Pitt movie? It's yeah. so good. You saw it for the first time? No, I've no. seen it before, but we watched it again. It's so good. Never yeah. seen it. <gasps> there's a there's a lot of early oh, wow. Brad Pitts I've never seen. Never seen the river. Is it the river runs through? River runs through. through. I haven't seen that. I haven't no. seen. Legends of the Fall. Legend of the Fall. Yeah, I haven't seen it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't either. I haven't. <laughs> Don't do anything else. Hey, Lil, you did, oh, I follow you on Letterbox. Start making a list, please, of movies Andy needs to see. Okay, because then I will go on there, and I when I'm bored, I'm like, hey, cool, Braveheart. I'm gonna Dope. make a playlist called Cardiac Arrest, <laughs> and yeah. what it means is uh, movies that if Andy says I haven't seen this, <laughs> I'll go is. into Cardiac Arrest. Yeah, okay, <laughs> perfect, perfect. How you doing, Josh? My brain. Is it hot in here? Yeah. Are you getting all, right, you all focus on you, 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 you tend to focus on the I heat. Took, I took my socks off. Yuck. <laughs> Let yeah. them dogs lose, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey out. You seen that like hey, can you open the door so I can let the dogs out? And they're like, yeah, and then they just <laughs> shake their foot out the door. <laughs> oh man. Wake up, brain. Wake up. Hey, welcome back, Lil. Hey, welcome back, Lil. Wow, we got a lot of complaints. <laughs> hey, this person's great, but there, where's Lily? I know. Yeah. <laughs> we replaced you. <gasps> no, temporarily. Yeah. For a couple weeks, but that's okay. But we learned our lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Never shall we make the same mistake twice. Um, do you want a song? I do. I do? I do. What are you thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking maybe something old timey. Oh, she like kind of like that. Yeah, she she you did that. She, Look at she. the legs on that tomato. <laughs> 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 <So>. <laughs> you want to do um, play some jacks by the water fountain? <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> gasoline only cost a penny. Oh, she she newspaper. <laughs> That's what I said. You, you see the article? <laughs> Eisenhower's lost it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Let's do it. Some old timey. Yeah, I think I think I got like rag time. time. Kind of like that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ninjas are butterflies, episode thirty-nine. It's gonna be real good and fine. Conspiracies, thank you, please. UFOs, ancient mysteries. Has anyone seen my gun? It's right here. Don't you move. 
Give me all your money and shoes you have till the count of three. Please be calm, please don't shoot. Remember what we're here to do. We're here to film Ninjas and Butterflies. Oh my gosh. Who did that? I don't know. Lily, I think we gotta go as soon as I remove the fingerprints from this guy. <laughs> Skinny's okay. Bro. You knocked it. I knocked it over. What if that was that? that what would kill me? you? <laughs> Let me see it. Did that not get you? No. Oh my gosh. Nothing's gonna take me down. Oh, I ain't going down that easy. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lily starts clapping. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. You're just impaled, and we think you're Let's acting and committed. Yeah. It's all right. For those listening, a very heavy sword-like object that I forget the name of fell off the wall and Sigh. hit Andy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, sigh. Like easy, easy does it. Easy does it. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> you guys, okay. I really feel like our audience doesn't know that you guys probably take about seriously ten minutes tops to plan this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wrote that one. Yep, that was our lyrics and you stuff. Guys. So we just wanted, yeah, Josh wanted to do some old, something old timey. Mm -hmm. I love it. What are you going to call it? Ninjas are old? Ninjas are... Ragtime. Is that ragtime? I don't know. We'll figure the genre out, I guess. Ninjas Loony. are old. <laughs> Ninjas are wacky, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> Amazing, you guys. Thanks. Thanks. We have a lot of fun. Do we ever get any work done? <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We actually work really hard. Yep. You do. We're very serious people. Yeah. Um... <laughs> It's actually hard for you guys to turn on the funny. Yeah, it's it's actually all fake. Imagine, isn't that crazy? A lot of people can are really good at acting, but you can't act funny. That's true. You isn't know, that crazy like Leonardo know. DiCaprio. I'm sorry, he's probably a really cool dude, but I don't think he can act like with on drop of the dime, act funny. Yeah, yeah, without a script. Yeah, so and I can like, do things. We could do things. Leo can't do. Yeah. Like this. He yo uh. <laughs> Or litter. Leo, do this. <laughs> or we can do this. <laughs> well, he's been real quiet ever since we did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. What is it? Everyone be quiet. This question was sent in by a viewer, and it has just, it's been a question asked so many times, and I think today is the day that we can finally resolve it. Put it to rest. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. That's what we're here. That's what we're about here at Ninjas Butterflies. Yep. Putting ancient old myths and questions. troubles and questions. Questions to rest. To rest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ancient old. Ancient old. <laughs> it's really old. Yeah. Ancient. Um, today's question sent in by a viewer. <sighs> Should we forgive Amelia Earhart? <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think we should. I think it's time, yeah. I think so, too. Andrew? Pro probably. Yeah. Yeah. What are we forgiving her for? We don't really want to get into it. Obviously, it's, we don't have that kind of time, but it's a yes or no. I don't feel like I'm being too nosy by asking what... She well, I mean, I'm sorry if you, if, I mean, if you didn't pay attention to history class, I guess, I mean, but Ooh. that's on you. But, I mean, yes or no, do you think we should forgive Amelia Hurt? Um, it's taking a really <laughs> long time. I feel like it's a trap. Yes, I do think we should forgive her. But? I don't know what we're forgiving her for. So you're just going to mm -hmm. divvy out forgiveness, even though you don't know what it's for. You don't, you don't know? Yeah. I've been forgiven. I can forgive Amelia Earhart. Mm. Well, guys, Amelia Earhart was a known serial killer. <laughs> and <laughs> right there, that was a trap. Lily just condoned Amelia Murder. Earhart being a, a serial, serial killer. killer. You hear it here first, people. Welcome to the show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly.
The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most ah! beautiful an empty your mind. You were martial arts! Fuck it, Jonathan! I could have swore you're gonna be like, no, there's nothing to forgive her for. And then we're gonna be like, wait, you don't want to forgive Amelia Earhart for whatever she's done? <laughs> for breaking our hearts. <laughs> breaking our hearts. <laughs> Giving our hopes up. <laughs> Get our hopes up of conquering the world. I mean, think about all the people that were waiting on the other side of that ocean waiting for her. <laughs> they stood there for days. <laughs> for days. So they're like, where is she? <laughs> Oh no! I'm still doing. My kids got <laughs> my kids got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> I got polio. I don't see her. She. <laughs> it's, like, it's 2023. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> oh, here we are. Here, here we, we are. are. Here, here we, we are, are now. 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 <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yeah, Lily, tell us uh, why you were gone for so long. Tell the fans. Explain to the fans why you decided to not be here. You guys didn't invite me. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, that's right. that's what we did. So we figured it had be fun to have some guests in, but we've obviously heard from our fans that that's not acceptable. Not Unlet acceptable. Lily has to be on it if we do have guests. True. What you guys don't know is I created about thirty-seven fake YouTube accounts, and I made all those comments. <laughs> that Bring her incredible. back. <laughs> what? I don't like it if Lily's not here. That's what I said the whole time. Wow, she has really nice hair. It looks like she recently got a haircut, but no one complimented her. <laughs> <laughs> Seems specific, but. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. 39? 39! Baby, next week, we're having a full do baby. Our, we're no longer podcast pregnant. 40 weeks. <laughs> oh, we're yeah. full I term, like, baby. I was Wait, so confused. Next week, can we come in um, with we have a baby shower? bellies? Mm. Done. Done. And eat food? Yeah, yes! Okay, I'm in. Please. Ice cream and pickles? Oh my yes. goodness. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. That's cute. That was that would be fun. Yeah, so our, our, we're almost at our 40th episode. Full term, baby. Nice. 40 episodes. I have so much. <laughs> and well, I'm, I'm just... We, we got a lot to get into because you have a lot to talk about. Yep. We have a lot to talk about. Yep. We got to go over our TV shows today. Yep. Yes. And we got some gifts. Yep. Do you want to do gifts now? No, we'll do that at the end. Uh, at the end. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So we got we got stuff to talk about. Hey. And we got TV shows to talk about. And we got gifts to open. Mo yeah. Are you talking about motion pictures? Say what? Don't uh, forget about motion. questions corner because you always forget about questions corner. And we got corner. questions we got corner got too. Questions, questions corner. Hey. I can't get out of this voice. <laughs> I can do it all day long. It's fun. Say. <laughs> this brings it out in the most like, inappropriate times. <laughs> okay. What do you mean she has cancer? What do you <laughs> <laughs> Stage five, watch that. Okay, Thank sir, you. calm down. Easy. Easy. <laughs> That's just how you take bad news. <laughs> like you're just completely normal. It's like, um, yeah, your uh, best friend got in a car wreck and I don't think they're going to make it. What oh. do you mean? <laughs> that makes me sad. <laughs> oh, um, the coronation, King Charles. Yes. Did you watch any of it? I saw yep. some clips of him looking very fancy. Very <laughs> fancy little boy over there in England. Fancy man. <laughs> fancy man in a fancy hat. <laughs> do what you got to do, I guess. You know, um, go through the motions. But yeah, it, like supposedly it cost a hundred million pounds. <laughs> Yo. What? Just the whole, just the day, the celebration? Just the coronation. What in the world what? are we doing? So I know a lot of people in the UK are like, Boom. Are they are they upset about it? Down with the king. I would be upset about it. Yeah, because they're like, we got poor people and this mate, this bloke here. He's taking all our money to just wear some stinking crown. I'm eating so chimney soot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said I'm eating chimney soup. Is that what you said? Is that so it? Oh, so I, I'm eating chimney I'm soup. I'm eating chimney soup over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're over there in your hundred million dollar You're day. You're out in your fancy hat. <laughs> Over here, chimney soup, and having oven desserts. <laughs> what is like what? <laughs> oh, chimney but, soup and roof <laughs> chips. <laughs> but don't mind me. But don't mind me. I'll just be over here, not receiving a hundred million pounds. <laughs> My gosh. Um, did you did you see the uh, the Scottish soccer team and the chant that they did in regards to the coronation? No, what they say? can't say. Oh, oh, yeah. There's expletive in it. The entire arena. Wow. Something, the coronation, just in melody. Oh, my goodness. Here's my People thoughts. People are mad. What, like, so they're mad because it just cost so much money. 
Yeah, and, there's and the some, guy. There, yeah, there's some scandal around. Got it. So is this like the Charles inauguration maybe. kind of like our kind of our inauguration for yeah, the president? Yeah. But Got a bigger it. deal because he's there till he's dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, or until he abdicates the throne because he can do that too. Which he needs to because Camilla Parker Bowles. Hmm. Why does it still feel weird <laughs> looking at a a king dressed in like its robes? And it feels weird, right? Here's what I gotta say about it. I agree of just like that's kind of silly that it costs a hundred million. Yeah. Um, but I love history mm-hmm. and I love the traditions involved in all of the coronation stuff. Got it. Yeah. Like the chair that he was sitting on. Do you know anything about the chair that he's sitting on? I don't know on? anything about it. They've had that. You should look it up because the um, the chair I think has been used for coronations for each ruler of England since like the year one thousand or something. Oh That's my amazing. Gosh. Same chair, and underneath the chair is the. It's called the mm, stone of Sorcery. destiny okay. or something like that. Yeah. I forget what it's called, but um, it's supposedly the stone that Jacob slept on in the Bible wow. when he saw. The heaven and stuff. So there's a lot of like stuff that it's you know, but just been passed down. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's why they spend a hundred million pounds. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen oh eight. Thirteen oh eight. Oh my gosh, it's so old. Yeah. Um, but like, there's like you can look at pictures. There's pictures of like uh people would carve their names in the back of the chair because it used to be at one of these churches where the schoolboys. Oh my gosh. During the 1800s, would go and like sit on it and like carve their names in it. And they haven't like gotten rid of it or anything. Jeez, man, that yeah. is so that that is neat. I like the, I like that part of the history, and that's definitely fun. But I know that, I mean, what, what is it ever going to fizzle out? Like that whole all of those traditions? You think? I mean, is it not as long as there's a monarchy? Yeah. If they get rid of the monarchy, then yeah. How would that ever happen? Like an overthrow, like a revolution kind of thing, or no, like or like be die like, out? You think of Russia, the yeah. czar. I mean, that was a revolution. Yeah. The yeah. communists and a lot of people they died. Were, yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. about that. Yeah, you don't know about that? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it was the czars; they were the monarchs of Russia. Okay. And then, um, what's his name? Mm, mm, um, mm. um, 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 not Stalin, right? Not Stalin. His predecessor. Is that how you get your brain? Yeah. Moving? <laughs> his name was. Please look it up because it's going Before to bother Stalin? me. Yeah, he's the guy that re- led the. Le- oh! Lenin. Lenin. Yes. Oh, John loves music. <laughs> Wait, Lenin. Mm. So this is we'll, we'll figure this it is out. Like yeah. Okay. So, but they're they're no, but their monarchy died. So he was preceded by, and he was succeeded by Georgie. No, who was the who who led the revolution in Russia? Anyway, it was terrible, Andy. And it ended the monarch. Like there was no more kings. They so killed they like literally all the children and stuff too. Wow. Like, his whole family. Okay. Like they were yeah. getting their picture taken. It was like a family photo shoot, and a guy had a gun and just shot. What? Him. Know, what is it? Vladimir Lenin. Oh my Vladimir goodness! Lenin. You would think that would. Be- <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, golly, that's crazy. I, I didn't know anything about Terrible. that. Terrible. Yeah, because wow. they were getting ready to flee. They were getting out. Jeez. But bringing up King Charles. Yes. Did you see the clip during the coronation at the church? They had this wide oh. angle. Yeah. Someone yes. dressed as the Grim Reaper <laughs> walked by the door. Oh my god! I saved that. I saw that early. That what was that? No one addressed it. Uh. And it's, how did he get there? Yeah. He, the, how was that so casually? A, hot, like, hot take, British security is terrible. Have you seen the Asian dude who oh, walks by? I did by? see that. was <laughs> hilarious. Have you seen this? No. Oh, it's, it, who, who is, is it? Is it I, the comedian guy that broke in? And, no, no, no. no, no. no. Oh. This, was, dude, this was guy just doing chores or doing like, he was like, he's like oh, running yeah, in there yeah, and door dashing. <laughs> walked by and Kate he's just and like, forget. Like door dashing or something. Yeah, like he's that. like, forget the security. I got to go here and just walks by and is literally inches from him. Like, yeah. It's probably because nobody ever like tries. So <laughs> yeah. when they do, it's like very on purpose. Everyone's like, like, wait a second. <laughs> the guy said, yeah. stop. And he's like, I'm doing my work. And he's like, oh, okay, and, go through. And I'll say this. I'll say this. That dude does not look any part like doesn't blend in at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. an Asian. But he was walking with purpose. Face. Yeah, yeah. And you could do anything if you walk with purpose. There's yeah. a lesson. <laughs> yeah. So what? How? What was the Grim Reaper? I don't know. What was that thing? Because I saw that video too. It was, and it was a dude creepy. That walked by with the gown and with the sickle, dude, just right by the door frame. So messed and it's up. just like, what? what was that? Terrible. What was that? Did you this see a dude dress up as a Grim Reaper? No, I know, but why? Oh, oh I don't know. Do you, this will um, 
kind of going just on the sickle part, you know, there was this, um, there was this old true crime story back in the, like, I think it was like the 1600s. I can't remember, but there was a murder in the town and they knew it had to have been from like a type of sickle because it was such a long cut. And so no one fessed up to it. And so they said, everyone in town that owns a sickle, you coming out and they was all, they were all clean. Right. So they all, and they lay them down and no joke. They left them there all day and the law enforcement stayed there. The other people, the villagers went back and flies, <gasps> started falling down on just to one specific one. sickle because it wasn't, you know, like fully clean. Yeah, fully like, you know, uh, smelled of death. Exactly. And so it still had remainders of the, the blood or body on there. So it was like, that's super smart. Dude just couldn't uh, find his like, you know, like butcher's knife and like clean dinner with the knife. He's like, I got, I killed a pig. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. No, did you, uh, I, w- I watched part of the coronation. Did you catch where they actually threw shade at our government? Uh, in their whole proceeding. They did what? Hey! <laughs> Listen here. Nobody in. talks about America like that. I just watched Patriot a month ago. <laughs> if you want some, come get some. Yeah. Why? Uh, what did they, they say? They were they were talking about like a monarchy in the modern world. And then he was like, do you think it still has a place in the, the world we live in? He's like, well, I tell you this, there aren't any riots going on anywhere in our nation and at I, like, that moment, I, yeah. well, I immediately started going through TikTok, and that's how I found the uh, the Scottish football team yeah, who yeah, was yeah. just cussing yeah. out the coronation. Also, well, go to Ireland. Yeah, well, that's what I'm. That's, <laughs> that's what, what I'm saying. Like, a imagine. completely divided country. They've been at war for like 300 years in <laughs> Ireland, fighting the monarchy of Britain. I could imagine he was just like he was like, and you don't see any riots over here, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Publicist is like, no, 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 don't say that. That's so funny. But yeah, that Grim Reaper was creepy, man. Yeah, yeah. It was. who I was it? Up. Who do you think it was? Who done it? Princess Diana. <gasps> <gasps> Diana? No, it's me, dude. Is that you, that, that would good. that would be. <laughs> we should do a short film about that. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> King John just wait, wait, wait. like. Did you know the Grim Reaper? There's a theory out there that the Grim Reaper at the coronation was in fact Princess Diana. Wait, what? Yeah. How? Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we should totally do that. <laughs> like do it, yeah. yeah. That'd be funny. Oh man. Um but yeah. I thought it was cool. That's interesting. That's super creepy. I saved that just to talk about today too as well. But cat talk about things caught on camera. Bro, have you seen okay, there's this clip of the Falcon Nine. I think it was in twenty twenty or the past three years, or it might have been recent, but it's a Falcon Nine uh and it was uh in space and it was a live stream, right? And so it's showing the outside of the ship. Okay? Mm-hmm. Someone spotted a mouse what? on the outside of the thing. You can see it on video. You can see it crawl. In space? That's what I'm <laughs> That's what people are freaking out about, man. People are because people are like, wait a minute. Wait. Is this true? Is this a live stream from actual space? Or is this some type of studio stuff and they just <gasps> let something slip? Oh man. But dude, I'll show you the video. It's absolutely crazy because you, you, you see it up close and you're just like, what do you, what is he looking at? And then you see something move that absolutely that's a hundred percent a mouse. Oh my gosh. And so it makes me wonder like it's the new ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> what are they up to? The what are they filming? An astronaut? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that that could be an astronaut? <laughs> Um, I'm feeling extra paranoid because we're watching that show, uh, Silo. Wait, oh one yeah. Second, one second. One second. Right, right there. Wait. And I'm waiting. It's I'm waiting. right there. Wait. Dude, that's what I'm saying, bro. And it's, it's, it's all over. I mean, it, people, could, it could probably live for like a little bit on the outside. Way to space. No, your on head the way. explodes. But it, it looks like it's stagnant. Like they're floating in space. Like it's like the part of the, the, the Falcon. I wonder that if it up. was like. Like I have no idea. In the atmosphere yeah. still, though. Yeah, it'd be really interesting. Didn't they just say casually that he, taking a stroll? If you take your helmet off, your head would explode. Don't they say that? Some say. Wouldn't that happen to a like rat? Your blood would boil instantly, or something. I thought it was like cold. Like you'd like freeze, freeze, and burst into like a bunch of pieces of glass or something. I don't know. We got a lot of theories <laughs> going around. I think it's like if you're in the sun. Yeah. In the burn sun. up. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Golly, if you add in the sun beams, <laughs> sun beams. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> there's another thing that I saw today while pooping. <laughs> Those are the best kind of things to see. This was discovered this week at the University of Florida. Oh, shout out University of Florida. Gators. This, this is creepy. Right? Is it the Gators? It um, is. Okay. <laughs> 
They can now take DNA samples from the air or water. Whoa. Like, <laughs> like for like... I don't understand what you're saying. So For like, for <clears throat> crimes? Like if they're... Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> if but, you're in this room that you have our DNA is flying around in the room. Let me just read this. They're doing... Okay, I'll just read it. <laughs> Res, uh, <laughs> researchers from the University of Florida were studying the DNA of endangered sea turtles when they made an unintended discovery. According to the Florida scientists... High-quality human DNA samples can now be pulled from thin air and water using affordable and readily available technology. These findings were published Monday in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution. Some experts worry that this could lead to privacy privacy yeah. breaches and extreme surveillance based on DNA ah. sample collected without consent. Oh, yeah. my goodness, yeah. For real. For real. <clears throat> I mean, air. God, yeah. what do you think about, like, if, like, uh... Like, I mean, that releases the, what is the legality with that? Like for like warrants when someone needs their uh, DNA, yeah. like you're in an interrogation room. Yeah. You Yo. know, if you drink a, a bottle of water, they, they can grab the, out of the trash, but now it's like they could just test the air. Yeah. Is that what they're saying? If fingerprints are admissible in a court of law, then DNA taken from the air is admissible in a court of law. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Hey, also sea turtles, whose side are you on? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you giving up secrets, bro? Come on. Giving away our DNA. <clears throat> what I thought that was crazy. Yeah, because that's that just changes like if um because I know like blood splatter, like yeah. you know, like blood splatter analysis, that used to like be held up in the court of law, but now it's not. Yeah, now you can't use it. And so it's like that's scary. So I wonder if oh. like that's something that could be as I mean, because you think about it, contamination. Yeah. I mean, you well they say they're not using bleach. fingerprints anymore. That's what I had heard too. You can't do fingerprints anymore. Wait, what? It's admissible in a court of law. It's not permissible? Correct. Permiscuous. Maybe. It's not promiscuous in the court of law. <laughs> Maybe I dreamt that. No, but that's, I mean, that'd be that's insane. a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> that's also a huge claim, Lily. Thank you guys. I just had a dream that fingerprints are no longer admissible in the court of law. <laughs> you mean promiscuous? <laughs> yeah. Promiscuous. Um, damn. That is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Because I, dude, I'd just be walking around with a bottle of bleach just... Yeah. Do you think you yeah. get my DNA? Yeah. But that reminded me, I don't know, this is just it's going my brain's taking a journey now. We <laughs> Take us you, with you. you. Saw, I'm I'm sure everyone in here saw how the one of the pioneers they call him the godfather of AI has quit Google no, because I did not see that. Oh, yeah. He's quit Google because he says Basically, he's afraid of what AI is going to do. He regrets a lot. He said he regrets a whole lot. He thinks he <laughs> voiced that. He's like, I think eventually AI is going to have the capability to kill humans. Oh, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> it's too doomy. Yeah. And then the guy said, well, what do you do with that? And he's like, do we do we shut AI shut down, it down permanently? Shut it down right now. <clears throat> and hey, he said, how do we fight AI right now? You and me personally, how do we battle AI? Good old cup of water. <laughs> Come at me. Come on. Just naked, Come on. Just naked in a field with water. <laughs> Cups of water. <laughs> Come at me. No, but he said we can't stop it because other countries like China and stuff are going to keep developing it. So oh, we'll yeah. be left in the Stone Age, basically. Oh, no. He said, but he's like, he basically quit Google to start. Um, An awareness campaign. Yeah, and like, let's figure out better systems to regulate it and like <coughs> keep it safe. That's strange. Hey. I think it's, it's all that that alone will get you know put out. That's not going to be within any confines of laws or anything because people are going to be able to learn how to manipulate it and code it and all that stuff. And well, so. he said he said AI is he's like it's just it's one one intelligent being being able to manipulate a lesser intelligent being, meaning AI is going to be able to manipulate humans yeah. to do stuff for it. Makes sense. Freaking me out. <laughs> me too. <laughs> hey, that's my kid's problems. Those aren't mine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it though. Yeah. I mean, you just accept it. Rock and roll with it. Let's go. Let's unplug all the computers. I've wanted <laughs> I've wanted to live on a beach doing nothing my entire life. And so if AI takes over, I've been given an excuse to take up that lifestyle. No, listen, go. we're gonna be handing out mojitos to computers <laughs> on that beach here pretty soon. And they won't even be able to drink them. I think it, they'll just be doing it because they, they have control nah, of us. I think, it'll, I think it'll be like signs. They don't like water. As long as you're close to water. You're also, <laughs> first of all, I love M. Night Shyamalan. I love signs. But what a stinking, stinking <laughs> twist. 
I was gonna say dumb, but I don't want to say dumb. It's a, say? it's a bad twist. It's yeah. water. I you came cool. to you came to a planet that's two thirds water. <laughs> we can't find water on any other planet. Go there. But you could say that like if we went to a planet, yeah, and it was lava. <laughs> We wouldn't go there. We would look and say, "Oh, we don't, we don't need this," and then they're going to go on to the next planet. But we're going to Mars. They chose us, and we can't even breathe on Mars. But we have the ability to breathe on Mars. Also, we can't on. survive it's in water we're either. <laughs> no water. You touch. They touch water. They die. But it's just. It just seems weird for a choice to like. If you're going to inhabit a planet, <laughs> I see. I identify with Andy's argument. But if aliens I, exist, I like hundreds it. Hundreds of Earths probably exist with people in it. So yeah. don't come to the one that's two thirds water. Yeah, I like it because it's like you have all these probably like scientists dudes like, how are we going to defeat them? Yeah, and it's like, oh, they figured out water. Yeah, they probably would have never thought of that. Let's shoot water. Did at them. aliens know they couldn't be around water? They probably never experienced water. Maybe yeah. that's if that's the case. That maybe is, that okay. is. That, it's, it doesn't actually burn because every just like, we're the only one with water. Maybe. Like, Ow! <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> what is this feeling? Freaking me out! <laughs> Imagine feeling water for the first time, like as an adult. Yeah, like as a weird. kid, we like we slowly or learned. In general, <laughs> that reminds me of like uh, how um, imagine like every as, <laughs> you okay. <laughs> Imagine like if like uh, you being an alien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but imagine like how like a kid is taught everything that they pick up and if they drop it, it falls to the ground, right? Like their whole life. And then one day someone hands them a balloon and then they let go. Interesting. And it doesn't drop for like the only thing in their whole life that doesn't just drop floats away. And they, the thing they love so much, it's like Brian Regan said, it's like if an adult saw their wallet floating away, <laughs> that's how like, like kids like what, get over it. But it's like, imagine if that's you, that'd be your, like your wallet just flying away. You're just screaming and crying for it. I've never thought about that. Of just like, like what have we never experienced? Yeah. Because our minds have already processed everything and it's learned. But like, imagine if you woke up as an adult learning all these things for the first time would be insane. Yeah. I have one. Um, in the Twilight books, <laughs> when she becomes a vampire in the fourth one, her eyes can see what she calls new colors that she's never seen before. That's okay. a great segue into what I was going to talk about. Which okay. is? When which I is? didn't write the note, I wrote it down for a previous episode and totally forgot about it. <clears throat> I thought you were going to say, time for an ad. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Um... But it's from the guy, the Y Files. People are saying we're ripping off his stuff. Well, I'm not. I we're just, just a fan. I love his stuff, and I love talking about it with my friends. And we they, and we they credit him. heard about it. But he talked about, um, oh man, <laughs> like oh, you're good. There's you're good. so yeah. much stuff. But he's like, if you go back and look at any old text, even starting at, I'm pretty sure like the time of like the Greeks and stuff, like ancient yeah. Greece. The color blue was never written down. Weird. Like in the Bible, in like all this, like blue was never a word. Weird. And they would always just. They didn't have a word for that color? No. Okay. And so, but like when they would describe like the ocean yeah. and stuff like that, they would describe it as like a green. What? And yeah. And so Weird. the the theory is if you can't connect a word with a color, mm -hmm. can you not see that color because your brain and so they did an experiment that's crazy <laughs> they did an experiment and this tribe in somewhere in africa it was like kenya or something i forget um but it was like like the bush people yeah and they also have never heard the word blue mm. yeah yeah okay. and so they gave this graph and well i wish i had a screenshot maybe i do no i don't it's this graph of like 12 uh, squares and they're all green, right? And then there's a one that's like a bluish green, but it's like very different. Like all of us would be like, oh yeah, that one's different. And they had these people look at it and they were staring at it and it took them so long to figure out which color was different because they don't know what to look for in the blue. They're like, find the one that's different. It yeah. was weird. Yeah. And then they showed another one, and it was all green, and then there was one square that was just like a shade lighter of a green, but it was hard for us to see, 
and they could spot it instantly. Wow. Because they have like over 30 words for green. Oh my gosh. Okay, because that like that's what their life is. That's yeah, what their so culture like, revolves around. Because they're like around. living yeah. in the middle. Wow, okay. And so that they is had, crazy. Like, they would look at a tree and like that green is called this, that green is called this, this green yeah. is called that. And so, just like growing up in a different area or a different culture, it, you would ha- you'd be grown up with different instincts and different viewpoints and everything, <clears> like in morals and ethics and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. Your brain is tricky. Yeah, and Not so me. it's like while we have always the question has always been like, well, how do I know that my blue is your blue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, maybe some people really can't see those colors. Yeah. You know, because they don't know what it is. It could be biological, too. Yeah. It, well, it is. That's what he went into as well. There's like Recep- I, the receptors and spectrum of light. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, colorblind people can only, like, there's, f- I think, three receptors or something. Sure. And it's like three different colors that all come in and they make the rainbow colors, you know, yep. like all the color waves or whatever. But, Colorblind people, only two of the receptors are working, so they can't see certain colors. But now they're figuring out that it's like one one in a million people, mainly women, have four receptors. Oh. And so, like, let's just say that we can all see hypothetically 30,000 different shades of color. Yeah. Yeah. People with four receptors can see over a million shades of color. My mom is going to say that she's one of those people, and she's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always argue. About color shades with my yeah. mom. I mean, that would that would make sense for people in the middle of Africa, because like, I know they deal with like a lot of like eye damage from the sun. Yeah. Oh. So if they're evolutionarily had like removed wow. receptors to protect their eyes. Interesting. That would yeah. make sense. That's why they have more melanin. Yeah, to so you're tell- the sun. You're telling me homeschoolers don't know what color the sky is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I know, I know what ah. it's the sky. I was gonna go in the direction. It hurts. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe um, pollution had mm. something to do with it, but no. that's definitely got to be a part of it too. Biology. Like there, makes I mean, sense. like, but the stuff we eat, the stuff, the chemicals. Like, there's got to be change over time. I think yeah. if, anyone- but like, I think that really is interesting. Like how, like, no joke, your brain can literally just not know that if it doesn't understand what it is yeah like it can't identify it almost it's yeah it's weird man weird but that's strange it says weird so your blue might be my orange weird speaking like this, of like this red couch uh, colors <laughs> <laughs> speaking of colors ah uh, i lost the momentum because i'm sorry <laughs> i thought it was a good joke it wasn't it was a good joke don't go anywhere, we got an ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, listen up, Chops. We got a word from you. We certainly do. Give it to him, Bobby. Absolutely. Our sponsor this episode is brought to you by Clearstream. Clearstream. Yes, it's a texting communication software, and you can use it to communicate to everyone in your congregation. Even the baked bean, a.k.a. the queen, except it- your cat, because she's dead. That's true. I forgot about it. God rest her soul. <laughs> so, just make sure you go to clearsteam.io forward slash ninjas to get 10% off for life. And remember, you this with this, you cannot communicate with the dead. No, just you cannot. Clarify. Anyone that's good point. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Of course, oh, Billy. You can only speak to people who have a pulse. Yes. That's it. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So, do it. Now, Do thank now. you, Clearstream, for being our sponsor. <laughs> Can't believe you brought her up like that. I'm sorry, mate. You I know, think you mean You know I'm so sensitive about it. You know I'm sensitive about that. Go rest your soul. Okay. You guys remember that ad? I could never forget it. I know. Changed me. Yeah. Hey, kid. <laughs> what you doing? I got a question. Oh, <gasps> question, question, corner, question, corner, question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. The questions are fresh on her mind. Fing. All right. <laughs> We've all seen Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Ooh. My question references. <laughs> that was just my, like if Dumbledore makes a noise. <laughs> it's like, like Dumbledore booping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, my question references the sixth Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, arguably the best one. <laughs> okay, um, it's not, but it, yeah. Okay, in that one, 
they make a love potion in potions class. And the love potion is described to smell like your three most favorite smells in order to appeal to those who behold it. Mm. What would your love potion smell like? Good question. Solid question. I know. I know. I know mine. Nail polish remover, <laughs> cat urine, and gasoline. <laughs> oh, man. I uh, My three favorite scents would be mint. Mm. Love me some mint. Mint. Okay. Peppermint. Wait, um, let me. You jumped question, into question, it. Question, question, <laughs> question. You know Vicks? Yeah. Yes, yes. Is that a peppermint? Yeah. Uh, you could just say Vicks. Vicks. But I like v- mint too. Well, okay, I'll say Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> okay. Vicks Vapor Rub. And then vanilla. Fresh vanilla. Mm. Nothing like vanilla. it. Vanilla. Mm. Vanilla. And then I'm going to do um, green onions. Mm. The three perfect, and the, that honestly, all those three put together is actually my favorite snack too. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> green green onions, vanilla. vanilla. <laughs> um, I feel well, the what green are yours? They're uh, they all have to do with like being by the ocean, but for one of them is just like the smell of a Hawaiian barbecue. Mm. You can't you can't explain it. It's just all the different foods, Asian oh. foods, all grilling, rotting flesh, and barbecue sauce, yeah. <laughs> raw fish, <laughs> rotting flarinating. <laughs> Um, no, so yeah, just the smell of a barbecue brings summer memories. Uh, Uh, the ocean, like in Hawaii as well, just the fruit falling under the trees and stuff and the wind, it's just different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm struggling for a third. Yeah, I think once. Yeah. Campfire. Cause you, I mean, I kind of hit that with the, yeah, the barbecue. What's your favorite seasoning or something in the kitchen fish yeah just just shrimp you know you leave it in the fridge for a few days uh, yeah or the exhaust off your jeep <laughs> yep it's a good smell oh should i do mine yeah you can think yeah, of your third yeah, yeah. i love the smell of the sweet sweet grass <laughs> sweet grass in north, uh, carolina. north carolina yes love that smell i don't Me think i just want it oh so good and then it's fr- a, that's a smell of of Enterprise. That's the smell of Enterprise. adventure. Enterprise seems like corporate. The car rental? <laughs> of advancement. She means okay. the, like, the word enterprise, not the like actual <laughs> car rental place. Well, that's just what I thought of. <laughs> hey, these are my scents. These are my smells. Everyone just shut up. <laughs> Fresh cut grass. Okay. And then. You not- have two grasses for your top two? Yep. Whoa. And okay. then. What's a guy? What can we say? And then. Um, not just a bonfire, but a bonfire when it's cold outside. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah that's different. It's a different. Yeah, it's a lot more fragrant. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I got my I third. I dig that. I got my third. Go for so it. So one of them was like ocean air, but when you're in the mountains, it's different over there. It's like smell the grass and everything. Yeah. So forest, ocean, but then the other is just straight up like salt air. Nice. You go. Yep. I like sunscreen. Yep. Sunscreen. That's my top favorite smell. Are you anti spray? No, I'm not anti. I like the sun bum. I like copper tone. I really don't discriminate on my sunscreens. Okay. I also like the tanning lotion. Prefer um, uh, UV protection? What is it? The um, what have, the SPF? Yeah. Yeah. I, I usually 30 oh, for me, but now I have kids, so it's like 50 to 100. <laughs> um, sunscreen. I also like the smell of gardenias and orange blossoms. I'm going to lump them in together. Gardenias. <laughs> Shut up. It's very enterprise. Someone smell. fix my art gardenias. <laughs> and I love leather. Leather. I do I do yeah, like this real leather. Genuine leather. I like pleather. <laughs> I like really good to me. That's a good question, good Lil. Question. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. a very fun question. You guys let us know in the comments your top free free favorite smell. <laughs> <laughs> your top three and your top free. Ones you don't have to pay for. Tell us your top three. All of his were no, you didn't have to pay for. Yeah. <laughs> Um, tell us your top three smells that you love, please. Um, and also, <laughs> and another thing, ah, but wait, know, there's more. You know that feeling when you go to the beach on a summer vacation and you're staying in a beach condo and it's really hot at the beach, but then you go into the condo when it's cold and air conditioned. It's not only a feeling, it's a smell mm. that experience. I think it's just a clean house. Yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's the the clean house smell. There's usually watermelon there too. 
Yeah. What's that is that snack? is the best nap though. When you're on vacation, you've been like just roasting at the beach. You go up to a cold room. Yep. Like, it really is. It's like an amazing feeling. Yep. Okay. I wish one. I could experience it. Cantaloupe is the worst smell in the world. I agree. And the <laughs> worst taste. <laughs> it's so, terrible. I no. hate cantaloupe. cantaloupe is the worst. It tastes Watch like it. a like it was grown in a skunk butt. Yeah. It really does smell like that. <laughs> what are you talking it's about? Tasting, it's insane. It tastes, it tastes like, you like you like cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe. Same. Okay. Oh, I love it's all like, melons. It's like a it's like a fruit that's like I want to be savior. A savory. It's like, it's like if <laughs> if like savory. if white would distilled- you listen. We are. That's if vinegar was a fruit. You guys, I'm sorry. I can't speak super well today. If vinegar, Don't worry every word that I'm mispronouncing. Last night. You Get said, off my best friend's back. Yeah. Last night we said what our last meal would be. And he said from the garlic, he would get seafood uh, cannelloni, which is the correct thing. I he, didn't say. He always says oh. cannoli. <laughs> seafood cannoli. <laughs> I'll take a seafood cannoli. Hey, everybody, let's just pick on me today. <laughs> Watch it! Watch it! Oh, take it easy! Hey, hey, put the knife down! What are no. you doing? What are you doing? Hey, you can't do this again. Do just what? Because you're, just because your wife is getting on to you doesn't mean you can pull out a knife. Sorry. Stop it. <laughs> apologize to her, not me. You apologize to me first. No, don't do that. Hey. You, you pulled a knife down. You do it again! Hey! D- apologize to her. No! With the knife out. Apologize to me first. No, you say it to her first. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now you say it. Okay. <laughs> now he said it. You have to apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. This will be played in your marriage therapy <laughs> later <laughs> Later on this month when you guys end up going. <laughs> so when did the problem start? I don't know. Let's talk about when Nitin Josh pulled a knife out on me. <laughs> knife out said, apologize. <laughs> apologize. <to you. laughs> Shot his co-host in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> pulled a knife on his wife at the end. Oh um, Let's continue <laughs> to speak about the omen that is over my household. Let's bring it on. <clears throat> Something happened the other day that I've told multiple people, and it every reaction is like, oh, I told you already. Okay. I can't remember. And you. Okay. But I haven't told you guys. And there. Hey. <laughs> <clears throat> I was giving Ada a bath. It was like 8 o'clock at night. Jordy and James are our little neighbor's come over to our house, knock on the door. Lily opens it, and they're like, look it. And oh. in the front yard, there's this owl. Huge. Standing, looking at the front door, doing this. In your front yard? Yes. <laughs> Huge. And Lily's like, oh, oh my gosh. Dude. And then Frank ran and like chased and it, it off. off. And it, and it was it was the size of this couch. Wind and then Jordy's wise. like, that's evil. Yeah. And Lou is like, yeah. these are little kids. Yeah, yeah, he said it's evil, and he said, "I we've been seeing it near your house." Oh my goodness, <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. And like, what are <laughs> she's I like? Said, you guys need to go home and pray I right said, now. We had to pray. We had to pray about this. And they're like, "We are." <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to warn you, but Lily told me, "I'm like, oh, I'm stuck in fear, man." I'm like, "What do you mean? <laughs> what are you was doing this? You just drop Ada? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah." So what's Golly. up with that? I don't what, know. Dude, I have not, I've literally, I don't remember the last time I ever saw, it's been years, almost like probably 10 years since I've seen an actual owl. But then when you started talking about it, then the week after I saw two owls fighting outside the park. Fighting? Yeah. They were in the tree <laughs> going at it. Literally During just, the day? Yes. Literally like right, like it was Who? like right before sunset. We were out by um uh the park right up here. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very like good. Like an owl. Yay. Oh, ho. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ho, ho, I'm an owl. Ho, ho, my honey. Ho, ho. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, that's, and then now it continues. The owl omen continues. Yeah. I think it means aliens. I think we have to kill the owl. There there was an owl outside (laughs) my window the other night too. Um, You know, in the palm trees at the house, there's like squirrel nests up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the middle of the night, just heard like a crazy racket. Like I couldn't figure out what was in the tree. And then I started hearing like an owl. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But But it wasn't just like the two. It was like continuous it was weird bro i you're right we do have to kill it that's how we break well i thought about (laughs) i'm like i wish i would have answered the door what i'm glad i didn't now finding this out but i'm like if i would have answered the door and i saw the owl i would have grabbed the shotgun and killed that owl and gone to prison that's what i was leading to yeah (laughs) Yeah, if you're a rat (laughs) yeah i looked it up and if you get caught killing an owl it's um a fifty thousand dollar fine or six months in prison let's start saving why would you get caught 
Why would you get caught? Because I think we got some <laughs> some neighbors that are rats. You live in a really nice neighborhood where it's just gonna like just a shotgun right in the front yard. <laughs> Our neighbor's house across the street. Their house they sold it for like a million dollars. I'm out there like in boxers shooting an owl. <laughs> they hate us already though. Die! This omen dies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that would be just That's a great line. The owl and a. <laughs> You're in the tree, <laughs> establishing dominance. Yeah. What if we had, like opened a second account and it was called like the Death to the Owl Fund, and we start saving up for the fine of killing this owl? <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Headway. Sorry, GoFundMe. The GoFundMe. <laughs> hey guys, I'm trying to raise fifty thousand dollars to kill this owl that's haunting our house. <laughs> and if we do this, guys, next year we're gonna have a fundraiser. We're gonna kill a bald eagle as well. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, do I? <laughs> um. But yeah, this, I don't know if this is an omen or whatever, but. It's just weird. It's well, no, weird. no, I'm talking about when we went bowling. Okay. Yeah. And I uh, was telling, we went bowling with all the interns here at Sunday Cool. Yeah, it was a blast. And um, I was like, if you want to bowl good, you got to do like a tribal scream <laughs> when you yeah. throw the ball. And so I, like as hard as I could, I like flung the ball and went, ah, and then my finger went, not like that. It was like a. Like it yeah, popped. Like actual. And I, so I was screaming and it popped. I'm like, ah! I'm like, what was that? So when you turned around, I, you, you said, I think I just like broke my finger or something. And I was like, so that was a real scream? I yeah. thought that was, I didn't know you were doing the tribal scream. So I thought you had just screamed like that out of pain at a bowling alley. Like, <laughs> but from everything I looked up, it looks like I ripped my, it's called like a bowstring tendon. Yeah. And usually like rock climbers get that. But I got a bowl. bowling. Yeah. <laughs> you can say rock climbing though. That's you so lame. <laughs> you go to the doctor. You say I was rock climbing. And but your your tattoo artist went with you, who's apparently also an avid bowler. And he said, "Did you put your whole finger in there?" Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, "Don't put all your fingers in the holes." That's what you were telling me too. So, it's, but I'm like, "There's you, three holes." It's just indention. Stick, yeah, just indention. You stick them all the way in. No. Oh. He was saying, "Don't use three holes. Use two. Oh. So that's technically not proper. You're supposed to do two middle and then your thumb as well. But a lot of people oh. skip the thumb. Like that's how I skip the thumb. I yeah, just uh, like I just palm it. it. Cradle it like that. I just palm it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So bowling's lame. Bowling, yeah. Well, it's just trying to match up with your pinkies, bro. The omen oh continues. Oh, no, that's what I that's what I said we were talking about. I was like, dude, just buddy wrap it to your finger and then I he said held I up can't. his pinky. Because it's like leaves like <laughs> yeah, it will grow crooked. <laughs> um yeah. Bowling's stupid. Nope. I want to talk about TV shows. Let's oh yeah, I forgot TV about shows. TV shows. We'll end on this. This would be perfect. We still got two gifts too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we'll we'll hurry through the gifts. Um all righty. Who wants to go first? Mm, Lily. Me? Yeah, Lily. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, wait. wait. So we didn't preface this because yes. we talked about it yeah. after. We can't do top all-time TV shows because that's like really hard. We, we could, but it was just, just we didn't whatever. think it was going to be that So fun. this is uh, ten, top 10, not in order. They don't have to be in order. Not in order. Uh, 10 TV shows, your desert, desert island TV shows. What would you bring to a desert island? Movies that you're going to watch. No, TV o- I mean, shows. T- shows you're going to watch over and over and over again that you love, that are favorite to you. So these are not going to, um, like, you can't, like, argue with these lists because they're up to personal opinion. So this is yeah. your, your, this is just to get to know each other better. I'm yeah. going to start with my honorable mentions. Okay. Vikings. Ted Lasso. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Last of Us. Only because it had me in a chokehold. <laughs> Haunting of Hill House. Dude, these are a lot of honorable mentions. This is my last one. That's Handmaid's right. Tale. Handmaid's Tale, two years ago would have made my list. It's not on my list. <clears throat> Desert Island shows. Here we go. Coming in at number 10, The Office. These are not in order. Yeah. <laughs> Nine, The Crown, of course. Eight, Master Chef. Ooh. Nice. Seven, Outlander, of nice. course. So many I haven't seen. Think about food shows. Mm. You can still write them down. Six, Yellowstone. Five, Parks and Rec. I like it better than The Office, I decided. Four, Vanderpump Rules. Of course. Never seen it. It's a garbage show. No, it's not. But it's It's a (laughs) Really? It is terrible. Yes, it's a garbage show. (laughs) It's so good. Awful. What do you love about it? (laughs) 
<laughs> the drama. Your, yeah, the drama, I guess. <laughs> I love it's it's absolutely unreasonable what these people how is they it, run their lives. Is it a it's a reality show? Yeah. It's okay, a reality got show. It. Okay. It's so I'll have to watch just an terrible. episode. You should. You know, Alan met all of them at a hard rock ca- uh hotel one time. It's so Alan random. Thomas. That's I know. so random. Um three new girl. Ooh, nice. Ooh. That's what you forgot, yeah. huh? Two, Downton Abbey. Number one, Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. <clears throat> nice. Good. Thomas Good list. Shelby. Thomas okay. Shelby. What's uh what's if you could have if you had to pick just one oh, no. to replay for the rest of your life? Ah. Only one TV show on that list. Gully, gully, gully. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What has it all? What was the question? Outlander. Outlander. Oh, to rewatch? If you had to pick one to rewatch for the rest of your life. Outlander. Only one TV show. Outlander? Okay. Yep. I, was right. watch- I started watching that, but I, I I think I went in with a different perspective. And so mm. when I started watching, I was like, oh, am I watching the right show? I thought it was completely <laughs> different. So I read the books, or like at least the first five. And so I loved them. All right, you go. Okay, me go. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, me go. Me go. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Do-do-do-do. Okay, so some of my honorable mentions are... Uh, Dexter. Oh. Um, the Chef Branosh. Nice. Better Call Saul. Nathan for you. These are oh, ones that I aren't honorable you. mentions, but the ones I first thought of. I haven't seen. And I didn't put on. Any of those. Um, and uh, Hill House. Oh, that Love was on Hill yours House. too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Top ten. Here we go. Final table. Oh. It's just the perfect cooking show. It's a one season. One season. Oh yeah, I, that and that's show is the, so good. I I was gonna do the Anthony Azul. Bourdain's Parts Unknown, mm. but it's a lot of like non cooking, too much mm. non cooking um, that I don't like. So the final table's on Netflix. You can check it out. Number nine, Planet Earth. Oh, love me some nature documentaries. Love that be show. Stuck on a desert though. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. I, it brings me so much joy. Number eight, House. Oh, love house. Uh, I don't know why. It's just a big nostalgic thing for me. Uh, number seven, Breaking Bad. Mm. Um, number six, Whose Line? Oh, wow. Whose Line is it anyway? And number five, Arrested Development. Nice. Number four, New Girl. Nice. Number three, Scrubs. Nice. Number two, The Office. Not two. It's not oh, ranked, order, but right? yeah. oh, it's not ranked. Uh, <laughs> it was at the top of my list, but then I just put this one on the top. Number one, maybe a little bit cheating, but it's still classified as a TV show. SNL. Oh, good one. Yeah. good one. Good one. That's think, a lot of I think of you missed one. Did I? Yep. Probably. <laughs> you ready to hear it? No, let's hear <laughs> yours first. Okay. No. Uh, my honorable mention, The Last Kingdom. Um, this is a YouTube series, but My Hungry Life is a thing oh, that yeah. he put out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's a super dope, like, foraging and cooking series. Ugly Delicious on Netflix. Nice. Mm. Um, I've got New Girl... How I Met Your Mother, oh. Psych, Modern Psych's Family, good. and then Stranger Things. Ooh, Modern Family, he's a good one. <laughs> Modern <laughs> Family has so many good moments. It does in that show. It does. That's a great list. Nice. I knew you were coming in at number one with Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Was yours awesome. ranked? No. Ish. Ish. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine are really not ranked. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to save the one I think you no, forgot about no. for last. I can't believe I forgot one. Um, my honorable mentions. This is only two episodes in, but I love it so much. A silo. Really? It's yeah. really good. Like, I was so mad wow. when I figured out they only had two episodes out right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Edge of my seat. Yeah. Nice. It sounded like you said one word. Edge of my seat. <laughs> yeah. Edge of my seat. Edge of my seat. That TV show has got me on the, on the edge of my seat. Edge Not only are you scrambling words, you keep <laughs> looking at me when I say something as if I'm scrambling my words. I think you're scrambling them in your head. Yeah, probably. Just put them all in one. Um, <laughs> invasion, honorable mention. Okay. Which that's I also a- just watched. Love it. Both of those are Apple TV. Yep. Severance. Severance is also Apple TV. Very good show. Yeah. Um, Baller show. Somebody if you fill. That is a regret <laughs> of mine. Oh, that you didn't put it on yours? Yes. It's a very good show. Love uh, Black Mirror. Yeah. Honorable mention. Chef's Table. Honorable mention. I thought that was in your list. Nope. <clears throat> That's a good one. Modern Family. <laughs> just made it there too. All right. Here we go. Top 10. The Office. Yes. Parks and Rec. Peaky Blinders, Outlander, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vikings, Mm -hmm. Rings of Power. Really? Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Was it that good? It was so good. good. Wow. It's good. Ted Lasso. Yes. New Girl. Okay. Number nine, Great 
British Bake Off. Oh, well, that's a good one. I love Dang that's, that's it. a great I love pick. That show. I love it. And like if you're stuck on an island, that's the most feel good show ever. It's so yeah. feel good. Yeah. And you're just like, and there's these so, people are just so happy. So many episodes. Yeah. Such so wholesome, funny. It'll so make good. you hungry. You'll be dying on the I, desert. You will, like, yeah. I, why can't I have an oven? Yeah. All right, number <laughs> ten or one, whatever you want to say. Dark. Oh, yeah. I did put Dark down, but... Oh, you I, took it oh, off? I only like it for the first season. The season two and oh. three, I can't really get into. I love Dark. If I had to choose just the first, like, best first season of a show, that might be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So stinking good, that show. But I put... Because we talked about... No one probably did it, but, like, we're supposed to choose a limited series for people to watch. Yeah. I mean, I have some that I want to recommend if, I have people, if people haven't seen them. But you guys should watch... Eleven twenty two sixty three. I have that written down right there. Yeah. Yeah. So good. That's with James Franco where he travels back in time to stop the JFK assassination. Okay. It's a Stephen King book. What was it? Eleven twenty two sixty three. It's on Hulu. It's can, very good. Can I have yeah. you guys watch the most recent season of Hander Pump Rules? Not a whole season. <laughs> I can't. I did one no, episode. No, because you can't you can't do show because that's because then you continue it on you you we'll don't have these have lists to. but you have no i know but <laughs> you have the limited series it ties it all up in one right in one just this season right now i'm dying to talk about it with somebody please i'm trying to get anybody to watch it scandal is crazy you should ask kelsey she might watch it okay yeah it is poison <laughs> it is it's, poison. <laughs> Drink it. it's so oh it's terrible for limited series i had um uh true detective Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, first, the first season I of True Detective. I almost wrote that down, too. I Man. love True Detective. You yeah. know what else I love? Fargo. I didn't oh, yeah, Fargo. Fargo. I heard yeah, Fargo's dude. really good. Now, all these, Mark obviously, Bardo. look these up before. <laughs> I'll look all these up before you watch them. Because, Especially with your children. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, some of these are appropriate. Some of these are not, depending on your age. Uh, Making a Murder on Netflix. Oh, were they the guy? They dude, pinned it on the that dude? one went crazy viral. And That's that good. one is one of the craziest stories. Um, Sharp Objects. I've seen that. Oh, okay. That's the one you need to watch. Yeah, that's good. What are the parameters for this final question that we're asking? Kind of, we, we're going to recommend a limited series, but we we don't really have to. I yeah. guess, but like define limited series. It's that, a one season of a show. Like it's like four or five episodes. Like it or, wraps up at the end of the gotcha, season. It's gotcha. just yeah episodes, but it's wrapping, just telling one story. Which I thought Invasion was going to do that. Yeah, the Apple thing, and I'm like, and they wrapped it up so well. I'm like, dope, cool. And then yeah. last five seconds, like, <gasps> don't you love that? So you That's have to watch it. Okay, I will, I will. <coughs> um, what do you think, Lil? I want to pick one to give you guys. Oh, limited series? Yeah. Maybe I'll think about it. Yeah, we can we can post about Ninja it. Ninja okay. seat. Sharp object. <laughs> What'd you say? Ninja <laughs> seat. Edge of a seat. <laughs> Ninjas of butterflies got us on, on the edge of a seat. Ninjas of feet. Um, I, um, well, you you look, what, what do you, do you have anything? No. Oh, oh you're, trying to, you're trying to look for something? <sighs> You see anything that you, this stuck out to you? I just, I really want you guys to watch Vanderpump Pros. I will watch an episode. I will watch an episode with Kels, and we will see. <laughs> and we will see. What if I become addicted to Vanderpump Pros? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be so, you so mad. Um, it, yeah, we could probably watch one, but it is kind of fun to like make fun of, but yeah. it's also, you're just like, oh, <laughs> these people are ridiculous. They're, these people, they're intolerable. Like, yeah, like it's crazy. And I love it. Um, you should challenge him to watch Hill House. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, Hill House no, no, is so no, scary. It's so scary. <laughs> Dude, it's so scary. It scares me. No. It's so scary, <laughs> no. but it's so good. I will never, ever, ever. A bent neck lady scene. I want, before we open these gifts that we got, yes. I just want to bring this one thing up because I sent it to you guys. I don't mm -hmm. think I showed Lily. Uh-oh. Um, that UFO that shot that beam down. Yeah, that was super oh, strange. No, you did show me that. I did? Yeah, Parts. it totally abducted somebody. Who's gone? Well, I'm going to show, just like listen to it too. So these guys. So, what was that? So it looks like, like a lightning bolt, but it was red. It was red. I mean, look at frame by frame. It's like. Look at that. Yeah, that's super scary. And then there's a red beam on it after. It's, it's literally a laser. Yeah. <laughs> laser beam. Laser beam. Laser. But that was so weird. And then I saw another video 
of these people, they, you know, those like milligrade. Oh, milligrade. <laughs> <laughs> Military grade. I got you. I, I didn't say anything. No, but you <laughs> wanted to. <laughs> mil, 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 <laughs> it actually sounds pretty cool. Military grade should be shortened to milligrade. <laughs> Lasers. Yeah. The green ones that yep. like shoot super far. Yep. There's videos of people that I saw just in South America that it looks like there's a star and they're shooting the laser at the star and then they put it down and then a green laser is pointing back at them. What? Oh, no. And they're like, what? <laughs> and they're like laughing about it and they're like, that's, what is that? Oh. And then like there's one where he does it to a star, like he's like in a window and he does it to a, what it looks like a star. Yeah. The star goes out. It's not obviously a star. Comes back and then shoots the green laser back at him. <gasps> okay. What? Yeah. That would do that would I would lose sleep forever. Yeah. Is it reflecting? It's in space. Yeah. <laughs> it looked, I'm just trying it, to look for a non alien answer at that point. I mean, is it in space or is it like it an could be like a drone? drone that, but it's like it's stagnant. I'm willing to bet that even our government is like harvesting information. Just yeah. monitoring stuff, and then but it was in South like, America. Oh, was it? I missed yeah. that. I missed that detail. Yeah, maybe um, we're monitoring them. But what is that, man? That's so strange. It has to be. It's I don't know. Yeah, it's got it's something super weird because that's. I mean, obviously that's not normal. So, like, what is? I want to see the videos though. We got to try that. Yeah, I'll show you the videos after this. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 that. While we, while we're talking about it, we'll show it to the pilots and <laughs> get to go federal, federal jail. You see <laughs> yeah, how dude, yeah. you see how be, like they do that and they'll get they track you down. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, but they get well, they, down. They have the infrared thing. They can see that laser from miles away. And they like it to the point where it's like, oh, it's their garage is open. They're sitting in their garage. So throw a freaking Blackhawk on. I've them seen and, like, like the land in their backyard. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah, it's nuts. You go to jail. Like you go yeah. to prison. Like it's big. It's Straight a big deal. Uh, Straight to jail. But as we, I was talking about that. We'll show the video because there's some people that complain that we talk about all these things but never show what we're talking about. Yeah, Fair. Yeah. So we'll show it. We're talking. Um. Hey, thanks for making the show better. But guys. speaking of green, <gasps> Gene Bean. Gene Bean. Gene Bean. What? What are you saying? <laughs> Every, I'm on it, my mate. I don't know <laughs> what episode it was. Do you remember we we're talking about aliens? Yeah, we're talking about aliens, and like Lily goes green. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Gene Bean yeah. on YouTube since that episode is always commenting green. Every video he comments green. No way. So we have to. I my, I wrote that and like we have to acknowledge it. Gene Bean, send us your address. Yeah, dude, please. Oh man, yeah, we, email make some us. green merch. Yeah, what's our what's our email? Ninjas uh, um ninjas at sundaycool.com. Yeah, we'll send you some Gene swag Bean. or any yeah. of our names at sundaycool.com. Yeah. yeah, um, that is so email. fun. I had no idea. He, every every time. every time, green. Dude, our fans are the best. They yeah. are. We have amazing fans. Speaking of amazing best. fans. We got some gifts. Uh uh. We got some gifts. Uh uh. First, where are they at? This one. We'll do this one first. I'm uh, I'm excited. We actually should have had this one earlier because Lily was asking for snacks. I know. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Wait, yeah. I'm so excited now though. You're gonna. We. Did you already uh, break into it? Cause I'll be mad. No, I didn't. I, did, I, didn't. I told him not to eat any. I wasn't going to eat any. I told he 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 might have. Anyways, okay. <laughs> yeah. this we yeah. got some. You. Get, From get, the Bernards, Bailey and the Bernards. Yeah, the Bernards family. They love our podcast. Oh wait, this um, is from CJ. Yeah, this one's from Bailey. Okay, but she wrote Bailey and the Bernards. Got um, it. she also said to shout out. Um, uh, how do you say it? Mandeville First Baptist Church. Man, oh, Mandeville. Do you know that? Mandeville? I do know that one. Ladies and gentlemen, get up for Mandeville First Baptist Church <laughs> and the Bernard family. Thanks for sending stuff, guys. Yeah, thanks. And uh, CJ. Bailey, Bailey, CJ, and the rest of the fam. Nice. Bailey and the Bernards sounds like a band name. Bailey yes. and the Bernards. Ba -ba -ba Bailey but and the Bernards. They sent us some zaps. Yes! Which we have these here, but I've, we love them. I don't think I've them. tried every flavor, though. Yeah, no, I haven't. I the, haven't voodoo, tried. Voodoo the voodoo is good. the best. Give All right, so this is spicy Cajun crawl taters. I've not had that one. This one's I'm excited to Cajun, try that. Cajun dill gator taters. <laughs> That's good. That's got some old bay. Cajun flavor. dill. What's the big deal with this? <laughs> <laughs> Sour? No. Just what a taste, though. It's confusing in my head. That's a sweet aftertaste. That's sweet. And they also We're switching said, so fast. 
They sent some nerds uh, uh-huh. gummy clusters. No, I'm down to try those. I've never tried them. I love you, the Bernards. I love you, Bernards. So, yeah, thank you guys for that. And Very lovely. cool. Very nice Oops. of you guys. This gift is specific for you. Oh. Lily present time. Lily present time. So, um, that one episode where we were gifted hats, you know? Yes. And you said, I wanted a hat. Yeah, no one sends me hats. Well, guess what? Someone sent you a hat. Her name. And it's not just any old hat. Is Olga. Olga! Her and her husband are very big fans. Very big fans of the show. Very big fans of you. Very big fans of you. She's an artist. What? And so she painted on <gasps> this hat. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm proclaimed. Yeah. Look at that. So here you go. Oh there's, my there's gosh. a note inside, so it's beautiful. Good throw. Holy Thanks. smokes. Look at That is gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. So super cool. And yeah, Olga. And then she sent us some of her artwork too. Originals. Oh my god. OGs, babies. I'm and a nice love. note. Very, very cool. Amazing. So this oh scares me, but I also love it. <laughs> so we will frame these and have them in our studio. Olga! Olga, you and your husband. You're hip, awesome. hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Olga. Olga. Yeah. So Olga and Christian. It's a really cool hat. It's so cool. Take off your headphones. I just want to see it on your head. Okay. I want to see it on your head. Whoa. Nice. That's Ooh, a good looking hat. Who's that? Lauren Daigle? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Very cool. So cool. She says, would you rather lose all your memories or not be able to create new ones? More new ones. Shoot. Ooh. That's sad. <laughs> Henceforth? I would like, rather lose all my your... memories and keep, and then you make new ones after. I would rather, yeah. That's kind of like my brother. Yeah. And Taylor seems like he's doing really well for himself. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I should lose all my memory. He forgot like all of his childhood. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you get hit in the head too Dude. many times. Don't play football. Don't play Can football. You imagine though, kids. you'd suddenly lose all your memories of having your children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's... You'd just be in a stranger's house with no, no connection to your family. That's forget so how, sad. Forget how to wipe. Yeah. <laughs> but it'd be like the water thing it's all like, over again. It's like you had to poop. And you're like, what is this feeling? Yeah, exactly. Like, go to the toilet. What is that? <laughs> Literally what we were talking about earlier when we become an adult and all yeah. things become new. <laughs> um, um, you should do it and we'll fall in love again. Oh. Just don't make fun of me. Sometimes that doesn't happen, though. <laughs> Just don't make fun of me. Maybe don't one. make fun of the way I yeah. talk. Hey, but put hey. the knife down. Hey. Don't do that. Who are you? Hey. Who are you? <laughs> Where am I? I'm remembering things at this point. <laughs> But I, not re- I, remember, the- I remember thinking about, I got to grab that knife, but that's it. <laughs> but that's it. Before that, Everything it was all- that, it's just blank. <laughs> what is this feeling I have? So what scared. is a feeling? <laughs> How do I know these words? <laughs> what is why? <laughs> oh. Just forget how to speak. I have so much that I'm going to say because I need to do more research on a lot of this stuff. Okay. But that's it. <laughs> Episode 39. Hey, full term next week. <laughs> full term. I'm sorry. I'm doing a tease. I have to. I feel. Hey, you don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm sorry. Full <laughs> term. <laughs> so long. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Love you. Yeah, comment your three favorite smells and what TV show we should watch. Yes. Yep. We go to ninjasandbutterflies.com for any merch or any updates on the pod, baby. Yeah. Thanks Love for being you. such awesome fans, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're the best. Thanks for the we're, tips. We're no joke. We're almost, we're right around the corners of um, one year of being doing this. Yeah. That's bonkers. One year. What a blessing. Uh, planning our one year celebration. We really yeah. do. Yeah. All right. We All right. Love you guys. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye a uh, bye. Uh. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts.
That's really cool. It's so cool. Those, Beautiful. Those dill chips are. Yeah, they're crazy. These are surprisingly good too. <laughs> Nerd gummy clusters. I thought they were gonna be like uh, kind of like a little bit harder. Rock candy kind of feel. Okay. Let's go ahead, uh, 